Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I've got a quick kind of tutorial thing. Um, today I'm going to show you how to idle your Steam account and get shitloads of... Um, ah, it's not showing me. There we go. Uh, trading cards. So it's basically when you when you have Steams on game, f games on Steam, uh, some of them drop trading cards. Um, they help you get badges and stuff towards... Um, towards getting your steam level up and stuff um, and trading cards is, is the way to level up your steam account um, so basically you have to have a game games drop um, trading cards when you play them so just from launching them normally will it be enough to drop a card um, that is only the case if you've got at least two hours of playtime on the game um, and then if you've got less than two hours it's kind of random while you're playing it so I'm going to kind of show you how to get steam idol master set up because um, the old one doesn't work anymore um, the different ways you can use it and the way that I've figured out is the best way to get cards really quick I think I got about 110 trading cards last night in about 25 minutes so uh, I'm going to show you like the best way to go about it um, it's not mega difficult it's a bit time consuming and you can't really the way I do it you can't really use your computer at the same time um, but if you want to just have it running in the background and it's a lot slower but you can do stuff alongside it so uh, there'll be a link down in the description where you can go and download this zip file. Um, it's just Idle Master Extended, and it's just got all this stuff in it. Um, you just want to extract this to a desktop, uh, to to a folder that you you know where it is. Uh, I've already done it. It's here. Um, mine's already set up and logged in. Um, so what I'll do is I'll kind of not show you how to log in and stuff because it's fairly straightforward. Um, so. When you get in, you can just log in, and it'll log in, you do Steam um, two-factor auth and everything, and then it'll scan your game library, and it'll say you've got 66 cards remaining. I had 250 yesterday. Um, so what this is doing now, if you go to your settings, you've got um, idle each game individually, uh, fast mode, idle games simultaneously up to two hours, then individually. This is what I click, because um, any game that you don't have um, two hours of playtime on, it will grab them all. It'll do up to 30 at once, but it'll grab them all and just idle them all at the same time to rack your playtime up. Um, and then once they hit two hours, once they're all at two hours, it'll start doing games one by one. Um, so you want to keep it running like that until all of your games have at least two hours playtime. Um, and then when they've got more than two hours playtime, you can then it'll then go back to this normal mode where it's just doing one game at a time. And you can keep this running in the background. It'll go through it one by one. It'll check every five minutes to see if a card's dropped. If there's no cards left on that game, it'll skip over to the next game kind of thing. Um, and then you can just leave that running and it works. I think I set it up. I set this running off set it off running last night at about 10 o'clock. Um, and I got up at 8 this morning and I had 13 cards. So in the space of 10 hours, no, yeah, 10 hours, it had done 13 cards. So it's just over a card an hour. Um, but if I show you something real quick, if we go to my library if you keep an eye on my notifications up here if i just keep clicking skip see cards drop a lot quicker if we just keep pressing skip and that's the best way to go about it to be honest so i've got three already four I'll just go to my inventory, four new items, and they're all trading cards. So what I do now is I've got a Corsair keyboard, so I've already got built-in macro functionality, but you can just download an auto-clicker of some sort online. They're fairly easy to find. And I've set up a macro that clicks, waits two seconds, clicks again, and then repeats and waits two seconds. So I just have this up here. I push my macro key, and it just, like, hands-free, clicks away. Um, I'll quickly just open my Steam so you can see what it's doing. See, I've got six now. I had four. Just keep clicking away. I can just go away, get on with my, my day, come back, and I'll have all my trading cards sorted. Um, it is stupid quick. I used to use this and just have it running all day, every day, and it would take hours and hours to get anything done. Um, but this just works. Um, it's stupid quick, and it's, it's yeah, it, it's great. Um, so yeah, I'll have all the links down there if you want to go download Idle Master, and yeah, that that's as it's as simple as that. Just click skip. Um, don't leave it idling. Just spam skip, and don't set yourselves one line because you'll piss off all your friends. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If this if you found it helpful, leave a like, comment, all this stuff. If something isn't working, uh, leave a comment. I'll try and help you out. Um, again, I'm not mega in depth on this. I've not had any hiccups. It's just worked for me. Uh, but if it doesn't work for you, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll try and see if I can help you out. 
But yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.